new reaction. I have been looking forward to getting back to Dimash and uh, looking at various requests and suggestions. Um, the Love of Tired Swans is going to be my next one. I have not listened to this one before. I don't even know which language it's going to be in, what style it's in. Um, so uh, without further ado, I found it. Let's uh, have a listen. I hope everyone is doing well uh, in these uh, difficult times. So let me start it there. It's a live concert, clearly. So uh, I'm going to go back, uh, just straight off my impression here, looking sharp in a black velvet suit. Um, I love the animated uh, angel on the piano. And uh, it seems like the start is similar to Love is Like a Dream. It's very low fry almost. It's very low in his register. It's very quiet. Um, as we know with Dimash, usually he builds up to climaxes that are amazing. Um, but I love, uh, I love the sound of what he's going for here. So um, uh, it looks fantastic. Can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> Very happy I found a version with English subtitles so I can follow along what he's saying, but I just love how Dimash is wrapping us into a package with how his eyes are moving. Even he's out here and then slowly he goes over here and then he goes back in. It's like a journey that he takes us on, um, not just vocally, but also physically on stage, which is um, a real skill. It's wonderful to see. So it's pretty incredible how uh, he is very sharp with his voice, like it's not uh, whispery or breathy in this section, but it's also not belting it out. He's finding that very careful balance of having a strong, low, I suppose, baritone maybe, um, range. But he's not pushing it at all. It's very easy. It's easy to listen to. And, and yet it's very deep. Um, so it's such a skill that this guy has. I'm very impressed. And I see Igor on the piano. It's good to see them together. Oh, it's so beautiful when he just switches up octaves 
And now he has a very soft high range, and you can just see that Igor, who's I've learned is apparently is a very well-known Russian composer, is enjoying it as much as I am. Um, and of course, he has a front row seat and a job. He's playing the piano. Uh, I don't know if he composed this song. Uh, please let me know if that's the case. Um, and I'm not sure if he's singing in Kazakh or if he's singing in Russian. Um, but as I said, I can read the subtitles, which is, I guess, uh, a story of, of love and the difficulties of love. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to go back a little bit there. Somebody taught me to press the arrow to go back 10 seconds or so. it goes into that intense vocal thing which always gives me the goosebumps it's so great um we're gonna have to go back and listen to this again actually and now that i'm watching it more i i'm not in love with this angel animatronic angel that flies around the screen it looks a little silly and not very well done but thankfully i'm not really looking at that because dimash uh, holds my attention fully so <laughs> wrapped in red. This effortless switch into operatic soprano, I would call it, is just a trademark. Really beautiful, really lovely performance. Great production uh, design, apart from that flying angel, which I'm not in love with. Um, and beautiful lyrics. Uh, it has all of it. He has this hmm, captain, naval captain look with his yellow buttons and maybe it is blue after all i said it was black in the beginning but it seems like the velvet suit might be blue but just it doesn't really matter he looks so comfortable here dimash uh, you know a handsome gentleman and this voice that just is unparalleled wait 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 i'm gonna have to go back And then he goes back down.
absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. And then he keeps surprising me when he goes up to those incredibly powerful high notes that he can do and then bring it back down to subtlety and beauty. Well, the fans are there. His name, Igor. Oh, here you come. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Igor comes out, I guess, to take the bows, and then he realizes that Dimash is improvising with the audience, and he runs back to the piano. It's very cute. I have to watch that again. That's hilarious. Watch for Igor coming. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Very, very, very cool. Um, beautiful. I loved, as I said, my favorite might have been uh, uh, Love is Like a Dream. Um, and this feels similar in mood and tone. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's so fun to see him here at the end uh, connect with his live audience. Clearly he's uh, somebody who appreciates um, the love that is coming towards him. And of course he gives back to his fans every time he performs with 100%. So thank you for recommending me this particular song. I'm not sure. I'm sure there are tons of different versions of this. Uh, every time I react to something, people in the post are like, you should have watched something else. There's a different version that's better. As far as I'm concerned, this version is perfectly fantastic. Um, and uh, of course, each performance is going to be different depending on where he is. And that's what an artist is all about. So. Um, to each their own. Um, I really enjoyed this version. I was so happy to see it with English subtitles as well. Stay well, stay healthy. Until the next time.